Hello. How's everybody doing today? If you asked me how I'm doing, I would say I'm doing really well. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So sweet. Anyways, today we are going to do a little something different. Uh, I finished a commission painting and the client asked me to frame it. And so I said, of course, I am. I love using ampersand uh, floater frames. They're my favorite frames. I think they look the best and you know, they, they're a little pricey, but I think the quality outweighs how much you have to pay for them. And so I'm going to show you how I do it. It's a pretty simple thing, but when I first did it, I was like, whoa, I have to use a drill. Like, ooh, I don't know. Drills? What's a drill? Power drill. So let's get into it. <laughs> let's, let's get into it. <laughs> Put your hands up. Hands where I can see them. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I am just about ready. So I have pretty much everything all set. I'm going to switch up my camera angle so that you can see from the top. We're gonna get going. Okay, well, I was filming and I look so cute trying to tell the camera everything, but I, for some reason, didn't have any audio. So here, I'm just basically telling you that I'm going to glue those four pieces um, of wood onto the back of this painting and I'm using just basic wood glue and uh, you'll see that I use a ruler to make sure all of them are in the middle but that's funny because I don't know how to math and I accidentally did the side where it's 14 inches a little too high because I thought it was 7.5 and not 7 because that's just who I am. So anyway, other than that, um, I'm telling you right here that old brushes are really good for this because you don't have to worry about ruining them and they also give you a even coat and you know, all that jazz. So once that's done, you let that dry and then you're on to the next baby. These blocks are on there, but I'm gonna let it and I put this to the side and we're gonna get the screws on at the back of the frame. So here I measured about one third of the way down the frame uh, to drill the holes for the hooks so I can put the wire and hang the frame. Put the starter holes for the screws. This bag comes with it. Put 
two of these. So we got these two things in, and now we're going to put the wire in. Forgot to say, you're going to need some snippy snippies, wire clippers. There's gonna be a lot of extra. Alrighty. So whatever little bit of extra you have, I like to just wrap neatly around so it's secure. Ain't no falling happening today. Okay, so now I want to place my painting and space it so that it is square and there are no, it's not going to be odd when I screw them in. Here's the painting, the wood glue is dry and it's nice and solid. Placed it in the frame. And so the frame, when it's mailed to you, comes with these like corner protector pieces. Um, and I saw it in Ampersand's video. Um, you can use them as spacers actually and they work really well. There you have it, folks. Like I said, I varnished this already, so I'm not worried about putting the tape on. It's also frog tape, so it's super sensitive, but my goodness, how good does that look? I mean, it looks so professional, so clean. Oh, I'm obsessed. And now cue the beautiful hung up shots. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Don't forget to put these bumpers on in the, on the back. So I'm gonna turn it over, make sure it's pretty clean. Right here, I want them to a stick. Oh wait, I'm doing it wrong. Oh. 
Bada bing, bada boom, baby. We're in business. Well, that is how you frame something to look gorgeous. And like I said, cue the finished shots, baby. Well, if you are still here, thank you! <laughs> um, if you're not, kick rocks! Just kidding. I get it. Sometimes framing photos is not what you want to watch. But if you did find this helpful, click that like button and subscribe button because there is more where that came from. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, uh, this painting is going to its rightful owner, like to today, and I'm very excited for him to see it. It's for his friend, but, you know, whatever. I'm excited, and I won't be able to post this until he gives it to her, so hopefully he gives it to her, just sends it right to her, but either way, you'll see this, and she'll already have had it in her home. Goodbye. <laughs>